Concerning Pokemon Go, the CEO Ishihara was uh, an interview was done with him this week, and during that interview, he mentioned he talked about his concerns about safety with Pokemon Go and explained that that's why they released the Pogo Pokemon Go Plus um, kind of simultaneously, even though it came out a few weeks after the release of Pokemon Go. So the main thing in the interview was that they are actually developing develop their go so the main thing about the interview is they're planning to develop a new device that apparently is supposed to go alongside Pokemon Go so that got me thinking are they actually going to create what could essentially be the Poke Gear here's an image right here of what the Poke Gear was in generation 2 and generation 3 uh, Pokemon so that's kind of exciting. At the same time, I'm kind of like, why do we need an additional device to play a game that still needs a lot of work and still doesn't have a lot of its core elements released? Uh, because Pokemon isn't just about catching Pokemon, it's all the other experiences that go along with it. So that's all we have this week in terms of news. The other thing is nest migrations just happened yesterday so if you haven't gone out and checked your local nest feel free to go and do that today's video is super short not really a whole lot of pokemon go content because today i just tried to relax and kind of take it easy and i had an errand to run also uh new cameras coming next week so definitely going to be a lot of different stuff um next week i'm going to be heading to the edinburgh botanical gardens to show you guys what that experience is like and also to check OpenStreetMap and see if there's anything that's been marked. Because, because even though Nick from Trainer Tips has stopped talking about OpenStreet, I want to continue that thing that he started and keep doing OpenStreet episodes. So stay tuned. And you can't just say it's